Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna talk about my Monstera Deliciosa plant. Pardon me if I pronounce that wrong. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. But this plant is what I have right next to me, this little guy. Let me show you what he looks like. So a Monstera Deliciosa plant has slits in the leaves. It's also called the Swiss cheese plant. And they grow really large and they look very tropical. And I'm gonna give you some tips today on how to take care of this little guy, or big guy. All right, so the first thing you want to keep in mind is these plants like bright and direct light. So the environment that my plant lives in is has windows all around the perimeter of the room, but no light is shining directly on him. I guess it's a boy. Um, and he seems to be doing really well. Um, and he never gets any brown spots, no leaves have died, and he keeps growing like crazy, so I'm assuming he likes the environment. So the next thing that I do is I make sure I water about once a week. So the, tr the trick to indoor plants is you don't want to overwater, so you want to put your finger in the soil, feel if it's like, if it's damp still, don't water it, if it's like pretty dry, you're good to water it again. And when I water it, I let it um, I put as much water in the pot until the water drains to the saucer because I have a hole in the pot and that lets me know that the water has seeped through um, to all of the roots and that it's thoroughly watered. And then I just wait about a week, it's, it's a give or take a week, might be a little bit longer, that I water the plant again. Um, and the reason why you don't want to overwater indoor plants is because that will attract uh, pests like black gnats and other types of pests really thrive um, when the soil is moist. The next thing you need to consider is the pot. So like I mentioned, my pot has a hole in the bottom of it and that allows me to know for sure that the water is going to drain thoroughly. If you don't have a hole in your pot, the water will collect at the bottom and it can cause the plant to have root rot. So I always have a hole. And terracotta is great because it allows the um, air to circulate through the pot because it has pores in the uh, sides of the pot. All around it actually because it's all clay. And that's great as well um, for your plants. They're a lot happier in terracotta usually. You also need to consider the space that you have. So since this plant grows so rapidly, you wanna make sure, like personally, I wouldn't want it if I was in like a small apartment or any kind of small space, just because it grows pretty large and you don't want it to crowd your space, um, unless you do, that's great if you wanna live in a jungle. But um, yeah, I definitely uh, would recommend having a larger space for this plant. And then the last thing I would recommend is once you buy this plant, and this could also apply to other plants, is take it out of the pot that it came in and check the roots. So with my guy that I have here, I took him out of the pot and I noticed that all the roots were just really tightly compact and they really had nowhere else to go because it had just outgrown its pot. So you wanna remove it from the pot it came in if it's root um, bound to the pot, then you can just take some uh, gardening shears, make a few small snips around the bottom of the root ball, and that will allow the plant to expand its root system once it's in the new pot. And if you wanna see a tutorial on um, someone doing that, I recommend looking it up online. I'm not recommending to chop off the roots in the bottom. You just wanna kinda make the roots have um, the ability to ex uh, expand in the pot. So yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say about this plant. I would recommend it to other people because it's a beauty to have in the house. It's a nice pop of color and um, yeah, it's gorgeous. I love it. But yeah, so uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.